Hi Lana, hello and welcome once again uh, to Lana's Coach. So we are going to basically look at the different uh, types of network devices, right? So we need to understand which kind of devices are normally used within a particular uh, computer network. Now without these particular devices then we can't have communication within a network and better still we can't be able to share our resources. So it's very important that we identify the very important network devices. So as you can see, <coughs> we have a list of uh, these particular devices that we're going to look at. We're going to see uh, what hubs are, switch, uh, repeater, uh, bridge, router, gateway, and modem. So these are very crucial network devices. I'm also made aware that we have other devices, although we are going just to concentrate on these crucial uh, network uh, devices. So let's check at number one. Now, a hub. What is a hub, right? So as you can see from this particular uh, diagram, uh, it, uh, it's a rectangular, uh, it looks like a box, right? And there are some kind of holes. Now those particular holes is what we refer to as ports. Now every time you want to connect two or more devices, we normally use a hub. So we just have to insert the cables within those particular uh, ports. Now a hub allows or gives us some kind of port that we can actually connect different devices. Like we have different uh, hubs that can always accommodate accommodate uh, different devices. Like we can have a four port hub, uh, eight port hub, 16 port and so on. So it's based with the number of devices that, that you really want to uh, connect within a network. It's a, it's a very uh, cheap uh, actually compared to other devices that we're going to look at. So a hub is generally a networking device that is used to connect multiple uh, devices, other devices within a network. So ideally, any device that connects to a network is what we refer to as a node. So it could be connecting to a printer, it could be connecting to a computer. So all those are what we refer to as uh, nodes. So the other category of uh, network device is what we refer to as a switch. Now, what is a switch? As you can see from the diagram, it looks more or less the same as a hub. The only the, the difference between a switch and a hub, apart from the physical appearance, is also the logical execution of tasks. Like a switch is more intelligent compared to a hub, right? A switch also uses uh, what we refer to as layer two protocols. Yeah, it uses what we refer to as MAC address, so that at least it can be able to. Uh, transfer or enable communication within a local area network. A good example is it can always establish yeah, the destination computer within a particular local area network. So that means if two computers are communicating, it is intelligent enough to ensure that the sending device actually uh, actually links to the right destination uh, device. So if they're sending data, it can always switch that particular data to their correct destination within a local area network. So just understand that. Within a local area network, we have different topologies, like the star topology. So these are just kind of uh, layouts that ensures that this particular device uh, communicates effectively. Now. From the physical appearance, also you can see it has a number of ports. So just like the hub, it allows you also to connect uh, multiple devices. So we have like an eight port switch. You can go for a 16 port switch, right? So basically it depends on the number of devices that you want to uh, connect. So it's a very intelligent device compared to a uh, hub. When you talk about the OSI layer model, we normally say that the switch operates at layer two of the OSI uh, model, right? So that's just a good example of the functionality uh, of what a switch does. And of course, we have the repeater as the other network device that we need to understand. As the name suggests, it repeats. So the key functionality of a repeater is to propagate or to extend or to amplify the signals from one 
device to the other. Let's take a good example. You want to connect two computers that are far apart within a room, right? So chances are if these two computers are communicating, the signal is going to, uh, we are going to have weak signals or what we refer to as signal attenuation. So for us to ensure that the two devices have the right signal, we need to amplify that particular signal right from the sending device to the uh, receiving device. So normally a repeater is placed in between the two communicating devices. So it's not just connecting computers. We can also have a repeater in form of uh, a satellite dish that amplifies, right? Uh, device, uh, amplify signals from one part of uh, the country to the other. So the key functionality here is actually to amplify uh, signals within a network arrangement. So it could be within a small room, it could be within a city, or it can even apply uh, amplify signals based on a global uh, perspective. So that is a repeater for you. So we also have different categories of repeaters right then we have a bridge <clears throat> now the good thing with understanding this particular network of devices is based on their name yeah like a bridge what does a normal bridge do right so it connects a two or joins two separate networks together so when you have like for example uh, a network or a local area network that resides in a particular room we can create a bridge to connect it with a local area network in a different room within an organization. So we can have, for example, a network that belongs to the ICT department and a network that belongs maybe to the finance department. So we can bridge these two networks using a bridge. So when you have two dissimilar networks that runs different applications or operations, we can normally use a bridge. So it is, it is actually... Uh, it actually has the functionality similar to a switch, right? Uh, similar to a switch. So it's, a, so it's also uh, intelligent compared uh, to the hub. Then we have the router. Talking about the router, uh, this is the master of them all, I can always say. Without a router, we can't access the internet. Yeah. Now, a router is that particular device that can be able to connect multiple networks, right? So if it comes to understanding how we connect or interconnect multiple networks, then the router is the device to use. Now in any network, a router performs the work of uh, routing, yeah? routing data or packets across multiple networks. Now, if you want to access the internet, for example, Normally, the internet service providers will come and set up a router within your, your homes so that at least you can have internet. Now, the functionality of a router is that it maintains some kind of algorithm or what we refer to as the routing table to determine the best path that it needs to use to send data to the destination. Yeah? That's why we normally have multiple routers across different networks. So a router here, when you look at the OSI model, it operates within the layer three, or what we refer to as the network layer. Router still communicates best by using different protocols. A protocol is a kind of a common guide or language that different uh, devices use to communicate. So this particular language that a router uses could be an IP, right internet protocol it can use uh, the open shortest path fast protocol or SPF and so on so this router establishes the best path to the destination then we have the gateway now gateway is just an advanced router right normally it could be a router that is well uh, configured to perform some advanced connections to different uh, networks so it is it can be a uh, hardware combined with some advanced softwares right that connects different networks uh, through or via different uh, protocols so 
it performs more or less the same as uh, roles as the router right but it also ensures that communication between two different networks is arrived at so you can see a good example of a gateway then we have a modem now a modem reminds us of how we used to connect different types of uh, computers the analog and the digital computers and that's where uh, that's where the term modem come from modem simply means modulating demodulating it allows us to convert analog signals to what digital signals and also digital signals back to that at analog signals so when you have two uh, computers that operate under different principles such as analog or use of continuous waves uh, and also digital uh, signals then a modem is required to do that particular uh, conversion so it's very very important uh, device in a network that allows to separate uh, devices using analog signals and digital signals to be able to uh, communicate then it's very important to know how these particular devices are implemented in a network now this particular diagram as you can see we have the various uh, devices that we've mentioned you can see how switch is implemented you can see the router there right so this is just a typical example of how these devices can always be used in a particular uh, network so remember as you had mentioned a switch here plays a very crucial role in connecting or ensuring that data is sent within the network effectively then you can see the router here allows us to connect to the what uh, to the network so we have the wi-fi router as you can see this wi-fi router helps connect different devices uh, through what we refer to as unguided communication right where we don't use cables right and of course we have that other router that allows our uh, communication to happen through connection of what our uh, cables so i think this summarizes as the understanding of this crucial uh, network devices so should you have any suggestion or you need to place some recommendations kindly use the comment section so that at least uh, we can help each other in understanding uh, the various types of uh, networks all right so always feel free to uh, subscribe thanks